My name is Theodore Treffon. I work at the Contemporary History section in the Royal Museum for Central Africa. I grew up in the U.S. I'm Greek. I've lived in Belgium for the past 30 years. In Congo is my livelihood. I do political science research about the Congo, political science research that's also combined with anthropology, and increasingly a lot of work on environmental governance, because Congo is a very rich country, and it has tremendous natural resources, and the economic future of Congo will largely depend on the way that its natural resource wealth is managed. State-society relations is the focus of my research, and I'm able to combine that by working in the office here where we have the world's largest documentation center on Congo Zaire, so there's a lot of documents available here, but I'm also spending a considerable amount of time in the field in Congo, in urban areas, in rural areas, in forest areas, so this really provides the, the value added of how research in the museum can contribute to making a difference in policy design. A typical work day is coming to the office, taking my sneakers off, putting on my sandals, because I bike to work here, so I generate a lot of heat. So I settle into my office, put on the computer, and I'm spending six or seven hours per day reading to find out what's going on, because there's so much information that comes in every single day about Congo, whether it be NGO reports, United Nations reports, new publications. There's a big, big responsibility of being able to track information and also trying to think about how we can return our knowledge based on our documentation in the form of publications. Over the approximately past 10 years, I've published on urban anthropology in Kinshasa. I've published on environmental governance. I've published on aid delivery systems, and I've also worked on research methods. The research we do with the contemporary section, the contemporary history section is fundamental because Congo is a very, very rich country, but people are very, very poor. Now, because of our long-term approach towards studying these dynamics, we're able to make a difference in terms of policy design, in terms of giving information to media, where I'm often interviewed by BBC and other media about what's going on in Congo. So the fact that researchers in the museum have the capacity to give something back about understanding the real challenges facing this amazingly fascinating country is something that's very, very important. And unlike other people that are working on Congo, we have the long-term approach, and this is really important in terms of policy design. What is fascinating about my job is Congo itself. Congo is an amazing country. You go there for one day, and you have enough to think about for a lifetime.